Hello, Life Hive number four. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your intuitive message for today. Let's go ahead and get it started. I don't want to waste no time. And let's see what wants to come out for the Life Path number fours today. Thank you guys so much for the advice and message for Life Path number four. What does Life Path number four need to know today? Thank you guys so much. What does Life Path number four need to know today? Path number fours. All right, life path number four. Your overall energy is the lovers. So I am seeing that this is going to be a reading about connectivity. I feel like that you're in a position right now where you're trying to just bring in everything in your life that you want. Uh, some of you could be manifesting love. I am seeing though that some of you are going to have some type of choice and some type of decision in your future. So this feels like it's going to be more so like a prediction for the life path number fours. But overall, you're in a very um, positive energy where you're trying to, you know, put everything together or trying to put everything into perspective. But you're you're may you may be struggling with a lot of temptation right now. I am getting that energy to where you have like removed things and you have cut off things, but it's something else with temptation that's here that you may be struggling with as well. So let's see what wants to come out. We have this five of pinnacle energy. So when it comes to love, I do feel like you feel like you're missing something. Um I feel like you are, you have been praying, you have been manifesting, you have been asking God to really send you that uh, perfect partner. You may also have been feeling alone in this situation. I do feel like you have been struggling when it comes to finding the right fit for you in your life. So you may be dating a lot, but I do see that you are going to get some type of message from someone in your life that is going to um, be like a spark. It's going to be some type of, like, if it's, if if your love life have, has been in a drought, um, you're going to be out of that drought really soon. But you do feel like you're missing some type of partnership. Yeah, this is your, um, how I want to put this. This is, um, this is, this is the reverse energy here. This is your antagonist energy. I feel like with the Ten of Cups being here again, you feel like something is missing. Like I said, you are, you feel like you're in a drop because it's like this card came out like this. Okay. So you have been feeling like really dry. You feel like you've been in a drought when it comes to love. You haven't had like a lucky break. So you may have been like habitually dating or even if you're just in a single solitude energy you feel like you feel like you haven't found the right person like you yearn for love so right now we have this hangman energy again you feel like you're in a drought you feel like you're on hold you're not understanding yeah you feel like you're in a drought. We got the four of cup energy here. You may be getting bored with your options. The way I'm feeling right now, I feel like really sad. Like this is beyond yearning for love or beyond yearning for a connection. This feels like you're just overall just giving up on love. Like you're just going to pull yourself totally back. Let's see what's happening here. I knew I was feeling this temptation energy. Now we have the devil. So what has happened is you may have been stuck into a connection that wasn't really fulfilling for you. Like a karmic energy or just somebody that you have been like going through some type of cycle with.
Like, I feel really sad. Something has happened in your love life to where it's just really turned you upside down. Turned you off. Like someone has done a number on you to where you're just throwing love out the window. But then at the, again, at the same time, you yearn for it. So it's like you don't really want to give up on love. You do because of the people that you've been dating because they haven't been a positive influence on you at all or they haven't been really complimenting you. So it's like you're torn. You also may be like suppressing this too. Like suppressing this energy. Like you may like overeat. Um, you may also like drink a lot. Like you you indulge into something a lot because it that that thing, like you are because you're missing that connection, like you're missing that. That joy, um, food may bring you a lot of joy. And I think I said that for the life path number four is two in this particular month. Um, if you haven't looked at my live for August predictions, definitely look at that. Because I said in the beginning, like every time like I do life path number fours, I get hungry. So you may be overeating. Because you're very stressed. Like you are you're the type of person that like and overindulge into something when you are stressed. Yeah, you're really stressed here. We got this five of wands. Battling with yourself, a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos. So what I feel here, life path number fours, you may need to do something just as simple as change your environment up or change the way you do things. So for example, if you meet a person or constantly keep meeting these people at like bars or clubs, or you constantly like are doing like online dating, you may have to change the way you are trying to find love. Cause it's coming out really strong. It's coming out like you're not really getting the lesson. But then also I feel like you have been having some type of continuous battle or conflict or struggle not only within the people that you attract in in your life, but when it comes to um, when it comes to your own feelings and when it comes to your own self, you may have been getting like cheated on a lot. Like every relationship, you feel like you got cheated on. Like they they have a mask. Like the people that you date always like mask themselves. You need to start using your discernment. Just because someone says that you're very beautiful or you look good or even just honestly, if you do have like physical intimacy with this person, then just because that's good doesn't mean that that's love or just because they make your body feel some type of way. That's an illusion. That's not really what true love is. You need to find what true love is. You need to discover that. You need to look at love in a certain, um, in a different way. Because you may have looked at love like, okay, because this person is always being nice to me and they're always saying things good to me. They always let me know what I want to hear. Like, or I'll think about this person and then boom, this person just calls me. Or even when me and this person is like physically intimate, then because how that person makes me feel good, that's why I feel like this is my person. You look at love completely in a wrong way and it has to be changed. This represents you. This is your energy. So again, in the, with the Six of Cups, in the past, you have had a lot of things that has went on. 
It keeps replaying in your mind. I feel like also too, very strongly, it just came in really strongly. You may feel like you have missed out on somebody in the past, like missed out on some like love. You may have also felt like you made the wrong decisions when it comes to love. They keep reminiscing. We had this fool energy. Yeah, you may have been like a fool for love, a literal fool for love. I do see though, um, this like past person, if you if you like missed out on your chance. I feel like an apology is here. I feel like also just speaking in like general sense, just the advice, I feel like you do need to walk on faith when it comes to love because some of you out here, you just don't even want it no more because you're getting tired of being hurt. Like it's like, okay, like it's nobody out here. You got to understand it's 8 billion people in the world. And just because you've dated, let's even say 50. Let's say you dated 50 guys. Let's say you dated 50 girls. 50 out of 8 billion is not a lot at all. That's a minute fragment of your environment of what you dated. Again, you have to start changing your environment. You have to start doing things a little bit differently. Like instead of you going to that same restaurant, go to another restaurant that's across town. Instead of you being on dating website, start like really going out and doing like a um like a speed dating thing. Like what I'm saying is just change up how you're doing it. And have some type of faith when it comes to love. Because you've lost all faith when it comes to love. Because of things that happened in the past. It's something here about like a past person that you feel like you missed out on. We had this two of pentacles. Like you are deciding it's something about a decision or a choice to like go back, but you feel like it's not going to work out. I do feel like you, you hope for a stable relationship. You hope for something that is going to really um, complement like your work life and your personal life. You may like uh, be a heavy worker here, but you feel like it's still not going to work out. It's like you don't even want to like take this chance anymore. You see how this guy, he's like here on this handstand. Like handstands can be very scary, especially when you first do them. You gotta, you gotta take that chance is what I'm trying to say. You may feel like you're going to fail or going to fall. I, I knew I felt the work energy. Now we ended it with this three of pentacles. Like you just start straight focus on work right at this point. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you don't want to live a life where you always feel like you're missing something where you missed out on some type of opportunity, you missed on some type of chances. I do feel like things are going to work out for you as well. When it comes to like this past, I want to get more energy on this. Um, Let me just pull out some more cards from here. Yeah, we have the four of wands that represents marriage. Then we have the page of wands. So yeah, I do feel like there's going to be some type of new action, but let me use this deck here. What is it about this past person? Why am I feeling about this past? Can we get a card? Why does it feel? Yeah, we got some type of marriage here. So you may have been married before, got divorced, it didn't work out. Then you start like dating around and you end up dating like the same person. You got the hangman energy again at the bottom.
I do feel like it's something that's like fearful for you. We got this major, and then now we got the six of cups again at the bottom. So it's like a past person that keeps coming up in your mind that you felt like it was the person for you, but you really didn't take a chance on that person because it made you feel like uncomfortable to feel like that. If I'm making sense. Yeah, it's some type of apology. I, I knew because these two cards, the Four of Cups, Page of Cups, represents apology. Also, uh, we have more major arcanas coming out. We got this judgment. We had a King of Swords as well, so you may not be talking to this person at all. You may want to reconnect, but again, you isolate yourself because you're trying to really decide on what you really want. Uh, time has passed, but you're into some type of solitude energy where you're like thinking a lot. But you do want to like rekindle. You do want to reconnect. So. Oh. Um, I was trying to pick up the deck. The King of Cups came out. So it is somebody that you, you felt like you loved. Can we get one more card on this past person? Can we get one more card on this past person? Just one more. Okay, one more is not coming out. I guess that's it. I don't even feel it. <laughs> I stopped right there because no more cards came out, but we got the full energy. So when I see like multi like the cards repeating itself, uh, it's just definitely truth within it. Yeah, um, I, I, I like giving general advice. I don't really like telling people what to do. I feel like if you have been in a situation where you know that you may have missed out on an opportunity with somebody, I would be the one to say go after it because you never know what may happen. Also, I want to... I want to say just don't give up on love. Like, I don't feel like just because of these past energies of what you have been dating or what you have been being involved in, I don't feel like that should be the reason why you should miss out on your true person. Because even just with these two cards coming out here, we got the four wands and the higher font. So I do see a successful marriage for you. So even if you was married before or in some type of long-term committed relationship with somebody before, I do see that there is going to be a new opportunity that's going to come in. But you don't want to pass up that opportunity with somebody else who could be more beneficial for your life just because of what the past person did. That person that you were with for a long period of time. Or even just those people that you've been dating, like bouncing off. Like you don't want to miss out on true love or that purpose person, I'll say, that you were meant to be with just because of the past people. So there is a, definitely a need to really release yourself from the past so that you can um, re either reconnect with a person because I do feel like it's a past person. Or just find the new person that you are absolutely supposed to be with. All right. So I'm going to leave y'all's right there. Thank you, Life Path number four, so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I love you. And I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.